The Lynette Brown Show. This this be the Lynette Brown Show. She's always ready in no time. The Lynette Brown Show. When you got something that's on your mind. The Lynette Brown Show. Whatever you got going on, she knows the deal. The Lynette Brown Show. Where we always keep it real. The LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the bad. Talk show of the South. I am the Fire Diva, keeping the airwaves hot on your favorite station. Thank you guys for tuning in with me once again. We have Miss Nicole Robinson here, and you guys have seen her on our previous show that we did. And today is going to be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about the power of giving. Yep, the power of giving, but we can't do anything until we take a quick, quick commercial break. We'll be back right after hey, this. Folks, welcome to Eddie Fruit Ford right here at Hartsell, Alabama, where everybody in the Tennessee Valley knows that we're your low price leader with great service. But don't you worry a little bit when that warranty runs out and those high repair bills start to roll in, how much that's going to cost you? Well, at Eddie Pruitt Ford, we've got that covered. You're going to have the peace of mind of knowing that every vehicle on the lot, new or used, is going to come with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. That's engine, transmission, drive axle, free and exclusive only at Eddie Pruitt Ford right here in Hartford. White Lyle here at People's Choice Barbershop. We're located here at 1402 Central Parkway in Decatur, Alabama. Five Star Barbershop, we're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Come to the traffic light, we open. We are a five star barbershop. We are the biggest barbershop in North Alabama with six barbers, two braiders. We're a family atmosphere. We have fun, we have laughter, we have good company. We would like to have your company. Come by and provide us with your service and with your personal talents and with your personal goals and aspirations so that we can actually collaborate and do something together. We're not just a barbershop. We are a family atmosphere barbershop, so we will treat you like family. Welcome, welcome back to the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show of the South. I am the Fire Diva. Keep it airways hot on your favorite station. Thank you guys for coming back with us. We have evangelist Nicole Robinson, and we're going to talk about the power of giving. Nicole, thank you so much for coming up and being a part of the LBS once again. Now, you know, you and I, we talked a little bit before the show, and you have a ministry as well as I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are some of the challenges that you're finding that uh, far as to keep your ministry going? Um, support. You find a lot of people that have needs um, out here, and they'll call you for the need. And you have the heart and the passion to, to, to supply for the need. But sometimes funds, get time, funds yes. are getting a little low. When you find people that's um, operating in food ministries, the word ministry, um, clothes ministry, um, paying people's bills and things of that nature, that money don't come out of your pocket. It comes from donation and support. And I'm finding that um, it's a challenge to really for, for people to really give. A lot of people want to receive, but in order for some people to receive, someone has to be able to give. i got to say that there's been a lot of people that have given to my ministry, and I want to just encourage people. If you see people that are doing things, such as Nicole and myself, please, please give. And, and I'll make an example. This guy, he just passed, uh, and you guys may know him here in Morgan County. His name is Matt Garner. And Matt Garner, he owned a business called Matt and body and uh, he just died uh, a few days ago mm -hmm. and let me tell you what Matt did um, I was selling an advertisement just went through a really bad divorce and this has been well over 10 years ago and I walked in his establishment I'm just trying to sell this man man advertising that's it you know I just you know would you sell you know would you buy this ad from me and I just happened to ask how much are you asking for this car it happened to be a Ford Contour and it was just sitting sideways like it was a show car. And I just asked how much he wanted for it. And uh, he said, uh, well, he said, young lady, I want you to drive it. Tell me what you think of it. So um, I took the car I, and I drove it. I came back. He says, you like it? I said, yes, sir, I do. And he said, well, come on in. He said, let's talk about it. Elderly people that did not share our skin color. And they surrounded me and they started praying. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm about to get this car today. But I thought he was going to work something out with me. You know, for his finances. And he said, young lady, I tell you what, I want you to bring me the title to what you're driving right now. And this car is yours. But he did something for me. And people wonder why I will not sell that car. I will not sell it. But it was leather seats, sunroof. It was beautiful. The Lord has enough power mm -hmm. to touch and penetrate a person's heart in such a magnitude. Mm -hmm. Don't be so afraid um, 
Don't have your guards up in such a manner to think that someone's trying to get over, over on you. you. That's it. You know, that you can't release. It's okay to release because anytime, if your hands are held tight, you can't get anything you can't get in anything. them. But as long as those hands are opened up mm -hmm. and you being able to release, he can, he can it flows. It, it, it's, it's flow, it flows. It's like a reservoir. It just it, it, it flows. Well, it, it flows. It's like the old church song. You can't beat God giving. Mm -mm. And he wants a cheerful giver. Okay. And I'm one of those that if I got to if, if I feel like I have to beg you for something, mm -hmm. you hold on to that right. because Jesus has yeah, somebody. He has a ram in the bush. Mm -hmm. He's going to provide. So whatever it is that that Lynette Brown needs for the, for to be able to to be able to do what needs to be done for this ministry to be able to go and produce, you know, to give that food the food to the to the um to the uh, to the needy or to the hungry, whatever it is that I believe that Jesus is going to give it to you. And I say that because you're not asking anybody to buy any food. No. I'm not even asking them to go give it out. No, you know, and help you get it out there. Yeah, that's all I ask. You know, I don't. That's a, when I did the when I did the conference. This blessed my heart, and and I pray that it ministers to you as well. When Jesus told me to have it at the um, at the playhouse, I didn't have any money. I'm not working. I work for the kingdom of God, okay. and I trust Him with with all of my for whatever it is that I need. I trust Him because He has it. Yes, ma'am. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. So when he told me to have it at the playhouse, I didn't have any money. But within a three-day period, that venue was paid for. Because people heard and they felt that they, they, they saw what it was that Jesus was doing. They believed in the ministry that Jesus called me to. And they let, 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 me, let, me, let me go into a break. Let me let me let me go on a break because this is getting really good, ladies and gentlemen. For those who have just tuned in, you're tuning into the Lynette Brown Show, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show of the South, and we are talking about the power of giving. And here today we have Evangelist Nicole Robinson to help us with this topic. We'll be back right after this. Is worthy of all honor and all praise, the Maker. And creator of heaven and the earth, the birds, the flowers. Welcome to Eddie Fruit Ford right here at Hartsell, Alabama, where everybody in the Tennessee Valley knows that we're your low price leader with great service. But don't you worry a little bit when that warranty runs out and those high repair bills start to roll in, how much that's going to cost you? Well, at Eddie Pruitt Ford, we've got that covered. You're going to have the peace of mind of knowing that every vehicle on the lot, new or used, is going to come with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. That's engine, transmission, drive axle, free and exclusive only at Eddie Pruitt Ford right here in Hartsville. Our sponsor, this portion of the show is brought to you in part by Health Alternatives. We've got a million. You remember we talked about those colonics? Yeah, those colonics. And she's doing them on Highway 72. You can reach her at 256-513-2274. Again, that number is 256-513-2274. And that is Health Alternatives with Miss Amelia. Nicole, we were talking, and I mean we got heated up. And, you know, you were talking um, right before we went into break, you were talking about how, you know, God, he'll see it, and he's going to provide for my ministry. And yeah. he, he has. So let me tell you something. Now, I just celebrated my birthday last Friday. Happy birthday. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, I walked into this establishment, and actually it's, it's, it's in here in Huntsville, and um, 
and I, I spoke to the guy and I said, well, thank you so much for giving to my block party. I appreciate it. And he said, Lynette, he said, uh, I'm waiting on your application. And I said, oh, he said, Lynette, I got money. I got money and I can't give it away. He said, what are you waiting on? You know, you need to go ahead and put in your application. He said, there's monies out here. You need, you need to get your application in. That's the best birthday gift. So yeah. needless to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on that day, you know, mm -hmm. I, it was out of the blue. And that is the way God works. He does. That's, that's the way he works. But um, I have found so many people. You know, girl, I've been doing this for so long. And it's people, it's little kids running around calling me Auntie Ned that don't even share my same color. You, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. But people know what I do. Nicole, I'm going to ask you, tell people what you need. Let's tell them. That's what we're going to do today on the LBS. And if you have a ministry, I want you to call me. I want you to call me. My number is on the screen. Or text me or something. Um, personally, for me, per se, I would need, for Blood Bought Ministries, I would need an establishment to be able to house people, to be able to come in, to be able to get the true, uh, the true uncensored word of God. A word that's going to be able to help a change a person's life. A lot of people go to church, and I, 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 when I say this, I, I would like for people to hear my heart when I say this. They go to church and they honor a man and woman um, that's, oh, yes. that's in this church, that's mm. given the word. When they honor, no problem with honoring them, but the honor should really be to Christ Jesus. That's right. It's one of those things where you come and you get the fish in the loaves. When in all actuality, you're supposed to teach people how to fish. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to teach a fisher of man. And so when I evangelize, um, and I quote, and I say this to the Lord, when I evangelize, I would like to have the people to go to a place mm -hmm. that they're going to know about you. That's right. And then they can be able to, to, to find out who they are, mm -hmm. who you created them to be before the foundation of this world. Right. Find out their purpose. Find out the power and authority that you have given them. Mm -hmm. And so they don't have to always go run the pastor. Yeah, I need to go to pass get prayer. I need to go to, 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 to no, yes, no. <laughs> Everything that you need is locked up within you. That's right. And so that that's my that's my endeavor. And that's my goal. So I need, need an establishment. I need you an need establishment build, so build. they can be taught and trained the way that I was taught and trained. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So people can get up in the morning, they can put their clothes on, they can go out there, they can go face the world and face the wiles of the enemy, knowing that he's defeated. See, what you have going on, and that's why this is so important, what your ministry is going to help people and help make a better society, make a better community. A better because community. You're making, because you're making better people. people. Okay? Hurt you're people not, hurt people. They need to be healed. Exactly. So and a lot it's of not like she's building a club. No, a lot of people are going to church and they're still getting hurt. Right. And then they're trying to find somewhere else to go get help. You know then what? They find somewhere church else hopping. Hopping from church to church. When all you got to do is nurture that. I believe that if you can get to the foundation, that, that baby that Jesus created before the foundation of this world, that purpose, that predestined person that's on the inside, if you can get to that baby mm -hmm. and then nurture that baby, Right. And watch that baby grow. That's then right. you will see a better community. Remind me of something because when we're out, and, and you know, my, my children and I, when they would ride with me every now and then, you know how it is. They don't want to ride with mom anymore. It's just, it's just they're driving. But when we go out or whatever, and I see people out, I said, oh, you know, I see some people out. Let me pull over and see if they need some food or whatever. And my and baby boy, he said, mama. You don't know anything about these people, Mama. What are you doing? Leaving people alone. Yes. That's what my kids can say. <laughs> and I said, baby, I said, you know, you don't know what people's problems are. You don't know. They, they very well may need this Your food. heart is beautiful. You said, let me go see what they need. Yeah, I do it all the time. You see what and I'm the, saying? And, the kids, and you know what? And it was, it, was, uh, it was some yelling or something at one house that I pulled up at. In fact, it was on my birthday. Girl, I was working on my birthday. Okay? And I'm going to tell you, on Christmas... You know, that's a day where people celebrate the holiday. You know what? I am working on Christmas Day because I work with a church and they supply me with like a hundred plates already fixed. And I'm going to tell you the most memorable thing, and that's why I keep on doing it, because there was, it was a family of five in a trailer on Christmas Day. Now, I just happened to stop over there because I had some local stuff. I mean, I had some, uh, excuse me, I had some things left over. And I was like, okay, well, you know, let me see. It was a car in the yard. I pulled over, and I want you to know they were sitting there eating tuna sandwiches, and they had a big bag of chips. And who sent you there? We know who did that, huh? You see what I'm saying? Okay. And so and you that's go and what see what somebody needs. Yeah. And so it's okay. 
if you can go and to ask somebody what they need because yes. you have Jesus has blessed you in a manner to be able to give the resources. It's okay for you to say what it is that you need. It's okay, okay for me to say what it is it, I need. It, it, it's, right. okay, it's okay for that. This is what, and, I, and I'll put this out here. I want to tell you because of the community garden, and uh, I need a van. If there's anybody, you know, the van that, you know, that, that I, you know, gave the title to, okay, that van was not even fit to drive. You know, it wasn't. But I need a reliable van to drive around and do what I do because so, so I can have all the space that I need. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and go. Right now, I'm at uh, one, two, three. I'm at, I'm at five pickups. That's what I do every month. I believe Bye. that you're going to get your van. It's somebody Bye. out there. Yeah, that's got it just sitting in the yard. Well, I want to say that, and then this is, a, and I, I want to encourage you with this, because before I had the conference, my car got repossessed over $40. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because 30 minutes after they repossessed my car, my friend came and picked me up and took me to her house, gave me the keys to her truck, and said, drive it until you get something else. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have just tuned in, you're tuning into the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show of the South. We are talking with evangelist Nicole Robinson, and we're talking about the power of giving. And that's what I wanted to put out today because, uh, like I stated earlier in the show, I had a gentleman that just passed, and his name was Mac Garner. And I know that this man has been really good to my children. In fact, it was nothing for Mac to write me a check. For a hundred dollars, and a hundred dollars doesn't seem like anything. But it is when you do. But it. I mean, this man was giving. I mean, just a giving person. So we both know where he is right now. This is a dedication for all the people that was instrumental in my life. Like, um, for instance, I have a white grandmother. I can't even. The show's not even long enough to tell you what all what she's done. done. But I'm gonna tell you where it started. Where it started was with my mother. My mother gives her time. She goes to the nursing home and visit people on Sunday. These people don't even know my mother, okay? Some of these people don't even know they're in the world, but she still does that because people think it's money. No, sometimes people just need time, need a time. good word, and things like that. So it actually started out, you know, when I was a little girl, just in my mom, and she still does it to this day. Mm -hmm. She still does it. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go into a quick, quick commercial break. We'll be back right this Hey, I'm Granville. We smoke all our meat with hickory and red oak, season all our meat with a dry rub, and our customers will tell you that we have the best ribs and the best barbecue in North Alabama. I come to Granville's for the great barbecue. They have great lunch specials. And well, I, I like the barbecued chicken. It's the best chicken I think I've had barbecued. Uh, the barbecue sandwich, probably the best in town. Uh, the ribs, first time I came, the ribs were to die for. Granville's Gourmet Ribs and Barbecue on the corner of Meridian Street in Oakwood. Welcome to Eddie Fruitt Ford right here at Hartsville, Alabama, where everybody in the Tennessee Valley knows that we're your low price leader with great service. But don't you worry a little bit when that warranty runs out and those high repair bills start to roll in, how much that's going to cost you? Well, at Eddie Pruitt Ford, we've got that covered. You're going to have the peace of mind of knowing that every vehicle on the lot, new or used, is going to come with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. That's engine, transmission, drive axle, free and exclusive only at Eddie Pruitt Ford right this here in the White Lyle here at People's Choice Barbershop. We're located here at 1402 Central Parkway in Decatur, Alabama. Five-star barbershop, we're open. Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Come to the traffic light. We open. We are a five-star barbershop. We are the biggest barbershop in North Alabama with six barbers, two braiders. We're a family atmosphere. We have fun. We have laughter. We have good company. We would like to have your company. Come by and provide us with your service and with your personal talents and with your personal goals and aspirations so that we can actually collaborate and do something together. We're not just a barbershop. We are a family atmosphere barbershop, so we will treat you like family. Welcome, welcome back to the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show of the South. I am the Fire Diva, keeping their waves hot on your favorite station. Thank you so much for tuning in with me once again. Time winding down just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, but not quite yet. This portion of the show is brought to you in part by Health Alternatives. Miss Amelia doing those colonics, you know those cleansings. I know you guys need to lose a little weight. You know you're carrying about 15 pounds of you know what. Okay, so give her a call at 256-513-2274. Again, that number is 256-513-2274. Nicole, thank you once again for coming up and being a thank part of having. the Lynette Brown Show. And I mean, we have just, we have had a moment. 
We yeah. have had a moment in here. Yeah. Just wanted to put this out here because I know it's people that have, you know, resources. And if, even if you don't give to Nicole or, or my business, okay, please, if you know anybody that has some kind of ministry, say, hey, look, I see what you're doing. See, it's not like we're committing fraud or anything. People know mm -hmm. what I'm doing. They know what you're doing. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so we want people to feel free. And Nicole, I want you to leave your number too. Give them your number because we want them to contact you. She's okay. trying to make a better society, ladies and gentlemen. She's trying to make better people. Just, I, I would like to say, um, first off, the ministry is Blood Bought Ministries. Mm -hmm. You can reach me at um, area code 256-337-6529. Also, uh, my webpage is bloodboughtministries.net. And my email address is bloodbought, B-L-O-O-D, B-O-U-G-H-T, 316 at gmail.com. Okay, um, Nicole, I want you to tell the little story and make it brief because we're running out of time. We need more. I need more time, don't I, ladies and gentlemen, but I would not be able to do it, ladies and gentlemen. It's just too much, okay? But I want you to tell me the little story about the guy driving the Maserati. We're going to call him the Maserati man. Yeah. Okay. Um... You he, you ask him. Yeah, he has a he has a, a very nice building that's just sitting up. It's pretty much collecting dust. It's a nice place, and he takes pride into in his in his um in his build in his building. And I was um, believing the finances to be able to to get this establishment to be able to start Blood Bought Ministries, and the finances didn't come through in the manner in which um, I thought they were. And so I asked him, could um could we still use the building for the ministry, and as the ministry grows, that we will. You know that we will uh, we will pay. Yes. And um, he said that he couldn't he could just give his uh, building away that it, it it could just sit there. Yeah. And um, it's like oh wow well, okay well you know <laughs> there it is in a nutshell. But you know I believe that Jesus if it's not his heart that'll be warmed somebody's heart'll be warmed. There's somebody out there that has a building mm -hmm. that's sitting there that they're looking for someone. To right. be able to sow it into, and I believe that they, that Jesus would touch their heart, just like it's somebody out there with more than one van that's sitting there that they're waiting to give it to. Because there's some people that have a hoarding spirit, and then there's some people out there that have a giving spirit. I believe that Jesus is going to touch the hearts of those that have a giving spirit, and they'll start sowing into different ministries, mine and yours alike, yes, and others to be able to get the work done. I believe. Well, that. I'll tell you. Let me tell you, because I mean, you do have your downsides, and you just shared a downside, and this is a downside. That I have. I call and I said, well, you know, um, I'm Lynette Brown. I do a food ministry. Now, this is like one in a million. I don't usually get this. A lot of times that people say, well, Miss Brown, you know, we don't have it right now and we appreciate what you do. But I've had people say, well, you know, well, do they have a job? Well, some people are just, you know, some people just plain lazy. They just don't want to work. You know, when you're mean spirited like that, you know, and I mean, I'm not asking you to do anything. You know, I'm not asking you to get out here. Hey, Will you jump in the car with me and help me go and get out this food? I'm not asking you that. I'm just asking, will you make a contribution? And I'm going to tell you, I shared that this lady shared a story with me. We, we both had the same story. In fact, I share with her. You know, she has a food ministry. And, and actually, hers is larger than mine. Mm -hmm. Okay? And uh, she she feeds like 400 people. You know, she's, she has a very large establishment. And this is what we're finding is that people would give, you know, but they'll give all to one organization. Yeah. And the majority know? of the time it's an organization that don't need it. That it's don't need much. it. Yeah. And so here we are, you know, we're just sharing with one another, you know, whatever she gets, you know, I share with her. She gets stuff, she shares with me, and, and that's just the way it is. But they will give all of it to one organization. They don't, they don't trickle it down and, yeah. and share with other people. And so that's what I'm finding. I want somebody to do it for my... Will you want me to tell you something, uh, Miss Brown? And, and this blessed my heart, and the Holy Spirit spoke this to me, that if you're the person that's always questioning someone else's motive, come on, then the question becomes, what is yours? What is yours? That spirit that's upon you that don't want to see somebody else with mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. you know, so, that's what it is. So it's one of those things. If you're always questioning the motive of someone else, the question becomes, what is your motive? Let me tell you something. I'll see inmates out on the side of the road, burning up, sweat on. Sometimes I'll have, you know, sodas in, or water in my cooler, okay, in the back of my trunk. I will pull over and just sit here 
you know, and, and they'll take it. And, you know, my son, like, Mama, mm -hmm. why, you, you know, Mama, those people could be dangerous. If you were giving them, you know, what are they going to do when you're offering them water in 100 degree weather? Well, that's what the Word of God tells us. When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, you didn't give me nothing to drink. Come on now. So I would rather... You know, you have people that believe, you have people that don't believe, but I would rather be on the side that's operating in the giving. So just in case this thing is real, I don't have to be, I don't have to get shunned exactly. away. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my time. I do appreciate yours. And if you have some type of ministry, I want you to text me right now because we're going to do more of this. Yeah. It needs to be more put out there. You know, people think that you have to have you know, Bill Gates, Oprah went free money to yeah. give. But you don't have to have that. You don't have to have that. You know, Matt gave a car to me. A car. You know, people... But there's some out there that does have Bill Gates and Oprah went free money. money. And, if, and, and they do charitable services. So mm -hmm. I'll say this. In the event that you're looking for someone to be yes. able to sow into, Please. these are two ministries that's able to do so. I'm not Absolutely. scared to ask because the only thing a person can tell me is yes or no. Oh, no. And where a door is closed, I know it's, I'm getting closer to the one that's open. Thank you very much. And school <laughs> is about to start. I'm trying to get... I've got some girls. They're, they're in my, the, and my son, he says, Mama, you always claiming other people's kids. I said, yes, I do. I do. But I've got some girls, and they don't share my same skin color, but these are my girls, okay? And I want them to have the best when school starts, okay? Yes. I want them to have, I mean, with my ministry, in fact, I have a uh, merchant that works with me, and I get brand new clothes. Yep. No, I want my kids to have good quality stuff like I want for my biological children and my nephews. I want them to have good clothes. So if you want to sew into a good ministry, you got the kids table and you got blood bought ministries. And she's trying to get these parents to where they need to be so yeah. they can be good parents yeah. and, and productive in society. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for tuning into the LBS, the hottest, the biggest, the baddest talk show. I dedicate this song to recession. Depression and employment. This song's for you. Today's a new day, but there is no sunshine. Nothing but clouds, and it's dark in my heart, and it feels like a cold night. Today's a new day. with you. Today's a new day.